All right, so I'm gonna get into some questions here on what character should I use my silver diamond promotion credits on in Marvel Strike Force. So I decided to make a video to talk about it here. We're gonna be talking about the top 10 characters and I would recommend for you to use your silver diamond promotion credits on here in Marvel Strike Force. And I, I'll be honest with you, some of these characters, I would recommend bringing them all the way up to three diamonds. Some of them, I'll probably just leave them at one diamond. And we'll talk about who those specific characters are here in this video. Now, we're not gonna be talking about dark diamonds, right? So if you do want me to do a separate guide on that, happy to. That list is a little bit simpler though. So this one's probably a little bit more complex on the silver diamond side, but let's start off. Obviously, we're going to be talking about Kang, and why the hell will we not be talking about Kang? Kang is absolutely amazing. And yes, you're putting these damn diamond credits on him, because silver diamond credits on him, right? Because of his damage. This ultimate ability, when he has offense up, and when he's get ready to go with this, this just does an insane amount of damage, can clear an entire opposite enemy side it's amazing when you do it in cosmic crucible the kang bang as we call it right it, it, it's incredibly amazing but every single attack that he does is amazing special does 420 percent piercing damage so that's bypassing armor and of course once again when if he has offense up while he does it you know that it, it, it's it's even it's even better right um his basic ability here love it when a character has vulnerable to be able to double tap and do that a couple of times there but definitely it's his ultimate he's a versatile character too he's a top 10 character in marvel strike force a top probably five character in marvel strike force very versatile can use him in arena you can use him in cosmic crucible you can use him in alliance war you can use him in dark dimension when they come out with a new game mode you're gonna probably be able to use him there too like he's absolutely amazing so no qualms no fuss there i definitely recommend putting your silver diamond promotion credits on your boy all right next on this list is the car thrower himself the y'all yeah, remember that sound from from, from the from the, the x-men show right but all right move on no but gambit is freaking phenomenal man and a lot of people got three diamonds on him after they went through the with the killing event right so a lot of people got three diamonds you know people like me i had to use my silver promotion credits in order to be able to get him the three diamonds but once again it's the same thing right the damage the out of turn damage with the pings amazing when an enemy takes a turn and he's just throwing them damn cards at your face and you with the heal block hitting you with some piercing damage it's phenomenal his bleed damage is going to scale very well too right because of that special ability because he does apply bleeds there so his bleed damage is going to scale very well he's probably this most one of the most scariest characters in cosmic crucible right in that room one wherever he's at you don't want to make this man get to his ultimate is you're gonna get hit with 520 percent piercing damage and right now if he's under 50 percent damage 50 percent health this is gonna be increased by an additional 200 percent and it's piercing damage so it bypasses armor man now nah, this this dude is a massive problem man on defense when you face him but of course in your hands being able to use him in your rate and as his raid specialty right him himself as a personal character probably not as versatile but his team is very versatile although i did see somebody use gambit in arena the other day but and it, it worked pretty well for them so but his team is very versatile cosmic crucible alliance sword of course special team raids he's also a very good dark dimension option right for your global section too so i hear a lot of people ask questions who should i bring into global i would definitely say gambit should be on your list as a character that you should bring in there all right next is ghost rider robbie there's always a joke out there that we have like 17 different it's like four therefore three different cosmic or four different ghost riders in the game but he's probably one of my favorite characters as well he's an arena meta character right now there are definitely a few different comps that i see people use with him in arena mainly the three piece with black cat and hard light but i'm starting to see a lot of people now just use black knight apoc void knight uh i'm black cat and then probably using either robbie or something like that but you still kind of see that three piece in there every now and again either on defense or on offense so i definitely think that he's worthy of your silver your silver diamond credits here now i don't know how far it would take him i don't think i would bring him all the way up to three diamond i think for right now where he is one or two is probably fine but either way his damage once again scales very well 
of course whenever he gets to those five charges why being able to do that out of turn damage clearing positive effects his bleed damage is going to scale he applies a lot of bleeds so that bleed damage scaling very well every single time with those with that with those um the additional diamonds is going to be great and he absolutely owns the city man in dark dimension he absolutely owns city it's the ghost rider robbie show in in city for sure so i think he's a very good character for your dark for your not dark diamond. i'm about to say dark diamonds silver diamond um credits here i think he would be an amazing character for that all right next on this list is kestrel listen her damage got buffed scopely msf they're gonna make sure right that this character is gonna be relevant for a long time because pretty much like every wave of character almost always lands defense down right so she's always gonna be able to be used with some comp somewhere at some point in time but her individually is a she's a wagon man in terms of her damage i've seen her ultimate here i'm running raider on her right now i've seen her ultimate crit for four million damage in raids i've seen a crit for three million damage in cosmic crucible in war i've seen her passive ability crit you know for two million uh, just the because of the damage buff that they gave her just any more silver diamonds that you put on her i think a lot of people would say like for three silver diamonds like the, the characters that i just mentioned maybe not robbie but gambit kang and kestro are probably like your top characters that we want to put those three diamond your three silver diamonds on just because of how much and how well their damage scales and because the fact that they are pretty versatile characters although gambit not as much but his team is so versatile Kestro not in the arena meta but she's useful everywhere else on multiple different comps as a character so definitely i, I would say that she's she's a mythic character right so you know they're, they're, like i said they're gonna make her make sure that she's relevant for a long long time by this next character on my list here i am on the fence about this one but i do still see a lot of people recommending Val. now primarily that was because she was a little bit more versatile a little bit more usable in some of these other game modes right now but primarily she's kind of just centered on raids i'm seeing some defensive war comps with her on defense and of course in cosmic crucible i do see her kind of be a little plug and play ish a lot of people are mainly using her with super skull because of course you're taking advantage of that ex that exposed right but she's the linchpin i say for the bifrost team uh but i, I keep on saying she i'm not sure i'm, I'm gonna make i i'm hope i'm not you know messing up the gender here but um, she's a linchpin, linchpin for the Bifrost team, and you really want her to stay alive, and she does really well with damage. Um, and I just think that for now, she is a someone that I would recommend to put your Silver Diamond on, but I would probably just go to one, and I would also not put her as high on the priority list. She's just here as as high high on the list right now, just simply because of of where where her power scale is based on where where her diamonds are. But next character on this list for me. This one is a little sketchy. I'm not going to lie to you. This was a little sketchy. And a lot of people already have diamonds on this character because of the season rewards and things like that. But this one, I got. I had to put a full one on here and it's Vulture. Vulture is definitely only primarily probably for Cosmic Crucible, right? But also for Alliance War. On the Superior 6 team, when you're using him with Superior 6, although he's not specifically Superior 6, but when you're using him with the Superior 6 team, because a lot of people do use him with Superior 6, his damage scales pretty damn well right and love is the fact that of course when a character gets a character gets killed he's getting that speed bar fill that ultimate ability it's it slaps you know 320 percent damage with him having offense up reducing the speed bar he, he does and he's doing additional damage it does a lot of damage here this special ability too i mean you're able to get some unique things with the slow his basic ability i think for me it's just that i had so much fun using him in dark dimension six i recently just went through a run here with dark dimension six and using vulture using robbie together that was like the dynamic duo that i was not aware was going to be the dynamic duo right 
so is he high on the priority list as a silver diamond promotion credit character no but i will say this using him in cosmic crucible that's how you're able to kind of finish off a lot of your opponents primarily i'm using superior six right now to be able to take on that extreme x-men team that gambit is on right now in cosmic crucible and primarily the reason why we're able to win these matchups is primarily because of vulture uh because of that ultimate and because of that basic ability pretty much even because of the the special because he's able to apply the slow this is part of the reason why why i have him on this list here he doesn't say the amount of damage like i said i that's he's he's a questionable one too but i do think that he's a good character to, to throw in here um uh, next up on this list is miss marvel highlight once again probably a one diamond credit character she's just usable in the arena and if you can get her to survive a little bit more especially right now where a lot of the times the comps that you're going up against if you're using super scroll and some of these uh, going up against super scroll and black knight and apocalypse a lot of the times apocalypse is targeting her and hitting her after he does this ultimate ability and then you'll know, follow up with that with that with that empowered um basic there a lot of the times she gets hit and sometimes the higher that she is the more likely she is to tank that attack so because she's like your main tank in arena a lot of arena characters are going to end up being characters that are going to be recommended right to have your silver diamonds on i do want to put here here but once again i i've seen people put two diamonds and three diamonds on her i don't know if i would go that far i probably would max go up to two diamonds once again it's just for the survivability so that she can tank properly and keep damage away from your other targets that are there but with like void knight and things like that too that can also get a little bit sketchy too so but like i said for the most part right now me having that additional diamond on her allows me to kind of tank apocalypse's hits a lot and allows me to be able to keep other characters alive like kang like robbie you know if i am running super scroll it's like that's so that's the reason why i do have her here on this list too next is a spider weaver now she's kind of because she's out of the arena meta i think a lot of people kind of forget about spider weaver but i still find that she's incredibly valuable in every other game mode right she's especially except for raids right she's not valuable in in raids because of where how they position that now but in cosmic crucible she's used another i see her using a lot of variety of comps i use in a lot of variety of comps they the, the damage output that she has i think scales very well with your silver diamonds on there she's still very valuable in cosmic crucible she's valuable in alliance war a lot of people are dropping her off the recommended list now for dark dimension and i can understand the reason as to why but i still think that she scales very well with those silver diamonds on them of course other parts of her kit too make her a very relevant character i think in the meta currently right now but i think if you're looking at characters that you could consider putting silver diamond credits on i do think spider weaver is there she also is a original msf character i definitely see where she's probably going to be relevant moving forward in the marvel strike force meta so i don't think putting one silver diamond credit on it if you have it available to use it would be bad because i still think that she's still usable in a few different game modes here all right next up here is venom now this is probably a little bit more re more biased you know by me here but i did find that this extra silver diamond credit here was very helpful primarily before we got red goblin now if you got red goblin you probably don't really need this but even more so now because of red goblin venom is the one that primarily tends to taunt for me right now he gets that taunt thrown up on him because of goblin and just the extra survivability is nice although if he does die of course red goblin can revive him so that's not really a major issue here but just a little bit of extra damage scaling is nice now he doesn't have a incredibly high damage stat but because of the offense up that he's getting from red goblin that typically does tend to help but even more so because of all the speed that he gets the speed bar and him taking and him getting extra speed you know 10 percent speed up to a maximum of 30 percent speed here i find that he does take a lot of turns and that basic comes in incredibly clutch here to be able to flip positive effects and turn them into negative effects if he can then spread off with this with this ultimate ability and also becomes very helpful for me too so he's probably on the lower priority list it does help with the survivability not a necessity in my personal opinion probably not something that you're going to do initially but towards the latter half here for the survivability because he takes more turns 
do a little bit more damage i think you can get some good value out of that there but once again not a priority in terms of on this particular list he's probably on the bottom of this list for me here all right and next up on this list here is my guy nightcrawler now this is one of the another one of the most annoying characters on an extreme x-men team alongside gambit here we're gonna talk about the next annoying character on this one too or the one that scares you a little bit here but it would be nightcrawler now once i get an opportunity here to be able to promote him and use my silver diamond credits on him i definitely will once again i value cosmic crucible in raids i don't think it's necessary i think a five and five nightcrawler right now in the current incursion raids are, is good if they start increasing the difficulty of it i could see where those silver diamond promotion credits could be incredibly valuable but for me in cosmic crucible and alliance war i face a lot of extreme x-men teams and i find that the higher that he is scaled the more challenging it is for you to be able to defeat that team alongside gambit as well the higher he scales it's a much more difficult that you're able to, to to beat these teams so for that particular reason i do like the silver promotion credits on him whenever he falls below that 30 percent right initially he's clearing the negative effects he is healing himself you know it's it's like he just becomes incredibly difficult to mow down so for that particular reason i do like having the silver promotions on nightcrawler because once again we're kind of going towards the bottom of the barrel here in terms of this list this top 10 list and i'm talking about here but i think nightcrawler would be that much more incredibly annoying if you do get those silver promotion credits on them the silver diamond credits on them this character here void knight i think is a no-brainer i think once you have an opportunity to be able to get your diamonds your silver diamonds on him i think it's going to be incredibly impactful he's currently right now part of the arena meta he's being used right now quite heavily i think even on on versatile comps yes with hive mind but on versatile comps and cosmic crucible and then he's also amazing in these raids i think void knight with extra silver diamond credits on him could be that much more annoying probably not gonna survive as well but i think you know he's gonna scale very high very well of course also focus is not an issue with his ultimate ability but i've seen where things like this where he's not been able to flip certain positive effects because because other characters do are built pretty high maybe it's just my arena shard where i'm scaling up against some 2.8 million teams and i'm going up against here in my arena shard so i find that having just that little bit of extra oomph from void knight would definitely be helpful maybe it would scale better at seven reds but i think as the arena starts to scale itself i think that you're probably going to want to scale your void knight as well but i think he's an amazing character doesn't do an insane amount of damage but it's just more so the control that ultimate ability that i think becomes incredibly valuable and i think once these raids start to scale too you're probably going to also want to have a bigger void now but just keep in mind that once you finally start getting them to seven reds um at even with or silver diamond at even with venom that i think he he's the one that's going to get that taunt at that point in time so just kind of keep it in mind as you scale them a little bit higher as a part of your hive mind team but i don't think that that will be a problem moving forward either way and then next on this list here probably the last character that i have on this list is forge and this is a main character that everybody tries to take out every single time they're going up against an extreme x-men team because you do not want him to get to his ultimate ability so keeping him alive and getting him higher is going to benefit your team also because of his passive ability to here where he does well on any turn heal the most injured x-men ally for five percent of this character's max health the higher you scale him with your silver promotion credits then the higher it is that you're also going to be able to get more yield you know from that dividend too so i think forge is definitely going to be a character that i would recommend as well to get your silver diamond credits on too um because once again he's primary target number one whenever you're going up against an extreme x-men team if you can keep him alive if you can get to ultimate ability it's freaking nights out from there but that's my list guys i'm going to conclude it right there let me know what your guys thoughts are of course there's some characters that i would say are probably iffy on this list right like for instance venom you know i would say vulture vow are probably not characters that i would recommend initially for your as a part of this list but the other characters i would say yes and once you've gotten them to where you like them to be at then i would say characters like venom and maybe vulture if you don't have it there and maybe spider weaver Harlight would be characters that i would probably look to invest and put my silver diamond corrosion credits on all right guys appreciate you watching this video let me know if you have any other recommendations that you would like to throw on there too but until next time guys and as always y'all be blessed y'all be safe